Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Secure Packets. Today we are going to learn how to integrate Active Directory with Forescout. In my case, I have a standalone CounterAct appliance and I am going to integrate my Active Directory Server 2019 with Forescout CounterAct appliance. For this, I have some requirements. So for integration, there are some requirements. So let us discuss about the requirements. If you see this, this is the requirement for integrating Forescout with Active Directory. In my case, I have server 2019 and the account I am using for is administrator. You can also use a local desktop authentication account that is working as a service account. We, and we are also known if it, it is a service account. The password that you have and Ports and services. The port requirement is 389 TCP. It is unsecured and if there is a server authentication like certificate level authentication or it is a TLS, you can use TCP 636. So this is overall requirement. The most important thing you have to always remember this account. So either you can use administrator and in case you don't have the administrator account. So at least you have a local desktop authentication account. So what is the purpose of this account? So this account when you integrating this with Forescout, this user log in each and every computer, which is a domain users of your environment. And it will log in and check those computers that they are a part of your environment or not. So let's go to the full scout and see how we will integrate this. So friends, if you see this, I am in a option. In so friends, you if you can see this in full scout, there is an option tab and I am in option. So there are different types of options available. So we will go to the user directory and click on add right now. If you see I don't have any account integrated. Now I click on add. First give the name. So I give the name of my computer which is lab. I'm not going to change any of this of the options. Then I go for the address. This is my server address that I'm going to fill. Now I'm going to the so this is my server address if you see this then for the port so I don't have any TLS or a secured channel so I'm using 389 then it is asking for the domain my current local domain is Then it is asking for the privilege account. It is very important for integrate, integrating because with the help of this account, Forescout log in to the every user computer and check whether this is a part of domain or not. So either you can use administrative, administrative account or you can use your local desktop authentication level account. Then give the password. So it is asking for the user for the test parameter. So I will use one of my Active Directory user. The password that I have already given there. Then click next. So not talk about this replicas. I will uh, make a video for separate for this and click on finish. Now if you see this, I have the server name, my domain name, type of account Microsoft, Microsoft Active Directory. This is my server address. The port I'm using 389. There is no replica access by all. And I click on 
apply we have to wait for some time close it and save now click on this and if you see, want to see this this is working or not you can click on test button and if you see this all the tests are passed the first test is directory server test and second is the server authentication test and you see that both the tests are passed that user I have given is tanu.b let's check whether force code able to fetch the details or not so yes if you see this the force code has fetched the details the common name distinguished name cn like tanu ou it is from the marketing department dc im and dc tech the user given name is tanu ldap username tanu bajpay and member he is a member of domain user and marketing group the group he is belongs to marketing group and you see that the email and the phone number is also given so yes that means we have successfully integrate our ad account with full scout so guys thank you for watching my video please comment on my uh, videos so that i can make more videos for you and if you have any query you can also reply on my chat box thank you thank you for watching my video and please subscribe thank you for watching my channel please share like share and subscribe